I never realized just how violent our Christmas movies are until I showed my husband, who's French, uh, Gremlins. Y'all, this mess movie is so unhinged. So for part one, click this comment. And this is my amazing mutual who also wrote a book. Go buy her book. Click on her page. Link's there. Like, it wasn't until I was showing my husband who's French and my friend who's German that I was like, oh my god i can't believe i was allowed to watch this as a child this is a straight up horror flick it's also like really funny this is not a children's christmas movie do not show your children this movie they will have nightmares but let's get back to the real villain of this story the dad it's not the gremlins it's the king baby dad now he's not a dad guy but he is overconfident reckless and leaves his child and his wife to clean up this whole mess that he made. He went to Chinatown one day, tried to sell this man the bathroom buddy, which is a piece of crap. And then he heard some singing in the back from a mogwai and was like, I gotta have it. And like so many fathers, his present was really selfish because he was like, oh my God, my son's gonna love me without thinking that it's actually his wife who's gonna be taking care of this new pet. A pet that can't drink water or ever be washed it has to be kept in the dark all the time and can't be fed after midnight that's a lot even the wife was like i hope he's housebroken because this woman does so much because of this man's weaponized incompetence because he is never around because he's so desperate to prove that he's not a loser that he ends up just being this like gross salesman and and his wife has to walk on eggshells around this man's ego more on that in a minute so not only do the three of them almost unalive gizmo <laughs> within like the first two minutes of introducing him to billy because dad forgot to tell them before she took a photo that he can't be exposed to light. Like, look at this. <laughs> this mogwai is like, I'm so screwed with this family. <laughs> but I swear, not like 30 minutes later, Billy's up in his room and puts a, a mirror in his face. Almost kills him. Gizmo ends up in the trash can. So then Billy's like, oh, you hurt yourself. Oh, no. Takes him into the bathroom and immediately he's like, no, right, light. <laughs> Dude, three times. Three times the first night, he almost kills this mogwai. Like, look at this thing. Look at his face. <laughs> like, this should have been Billy's first clue to he needs to give this thing back. <laughs> so then the next morning, Billy goes to make some orange juice with another one of his dad's dumb inventions that doesn't work because his dad is a loser. And everyone in the house tiptoes around this man's fragile ego. Look at him. He's like sighing like, here we go again. But I want to believe in dad, so... Remember, we've already seen this egg thing that doesn't work. Instead of literally just cracking an egg on the side of a cup, you've got this enormous piece of equipment taking up a lot of room in the kitchen that doesn't work. And mom is too afraid to tell her husband his inventions suck and make her life harder, unnecessarily. He has her using a rem this stupid remote to turn off lights. He's a hoarder who brings home swords. There's stuff in this house that makes no sense, but dad's a collector and an inventor of trash. So for a brief moment, Billy's like, maybe my dad is not a failure. Look how genuinely happy he is. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how long it takes to clean this up? But nobody will tell dad <laughs> how much his stuff is trash. The emotional labor that this mother and child go through to protect their father from the truth is ridiculous. So then another kid with a bad dad comes into the house. This kid's father makes him wear a Christmas tree. <laughs> and look, it is one of the Corys. And even this kid is like, God, what happened now? <laughs> look, there's still like oysters. Look, there's oysters all over the cabinet. Poor Billy just... Tries to protect his bed, you know, slight problem with the Peltzer Peeler juicer. <laughs> and this isn't the first time because the kid's like, I thought your dad fixed this piece of crap. <laughs> like, think, like, I'm pretty sure even Billy's friends are roped into cleaning up the mess of this father who creates more work for everyone in this town. In fact, the entire premise of this movie is a incompetent, reckless man who buys this thing that no one even knows what it is to impress his son because he's never home. Because he's gone all the time trying to do a job he should never do. But he keeps trying at because he just needs to believe that he's a good inventor and he's not. And so to make up for it, he brings home this little baby monster thing that like literally almost unalives the entire town. 
because he feels bad that he is such a bad dad. But instead of doing the logical thing, the thoughtful thing, and I don't know, changing careers, something that makes sense so that you're home instead of chasing a dream that is never gonna happen, he just puts it all on his wife and his kid. I swear men's ego and their shame is the root of so many of our problems. I mean, I'm not saying that women don't have this too, but you know, men have all, like the majority of the power. So when they are insecure and full of shame and are driven by ego, the whole family pays the price and their friends. And their friends like, you know, you could just buy orange juice and cartons. <laughs> Even this, but by the way, why is this kid so much younger than Billy? Is like, Billy looks like he's 25. And this kid looks like he's 12. But this 12 year old looking kid knows it, to just buy orange juice in the, anyway. Again, this is taking up so much space in the kitchen. Dad's hoarding. <laughs> it's such a problem. Even this kid knows that life would be easier without this machine. <laughs> life would be easier without this dad in the picture. He might as well not be there, bro. Showing up like this. <laughs> just creates more work for everybody. So then the kid goes up to Billy's room and where he's going to hide the Christmas tree his father makes him wear. <laughs> Look, he's like, it's okay, Pete, you can leave your thing up here. <laughs> but what are you gonna tell your dad? I swear all these kids do is lie to their fathers in order to protect themselves <laughs> from their dad's egos. And the kid's like, I'm just gonna tell him a bunch of bikers stole the Christmas tree off my body on the way home. Like, that's not a very believable story. <laughs> You can do better. They're not gonna steal your tree. They're gonna beat you up. Because your dad makes you wear something that makes you look so stupid. Anyway, so Billy's got this mogwai up in his attic, which is also kind of funny why he lives in the attic. I don't know if that's a choice. Maybe his dad has a whole room of inventions, which he does have an invention room. It maybe could have been Billy's room, and instead Billy has to live in the attic, <laughs> make room for dad's hoarding, <laughs> hoarding problem, and his um, inventions that don't work. Anyway, so, uh, Gizmo's up there watching movies with the guy who was Rhett Butler. Now, I don't understand how he can watch TV and be so sensitive to light, but okay. Not only is Billy almost on a live this thing three times in one day, he's also getting him on bad habits. Now, this is where <laughs> so Gizmo's going vroom vroom. This is where Gizmo gets obsessed with driving, which is going to be important later on when he drives the Barbie car around the department store to unalive Spike. See how they plant seeds, you know? Like, he's destined for a Barbie Corvette here, okay? So now Billy is showing off this thing his dad gave him, which is exactly why his dad gave him that. He could brag about what a great dad he had. And the Goonies kid who wears a Christmas tree immediately spills water on it. But now we have four times. <laughs> like, the most reckless household ever. The dog seems to understand how bad this is. Billy, kinda. So now there's a whole litter of them, okay? Five. But these look different, all right? They look a little evil. Especially uh, Spike, who immediately bites m the kid from Goonies. And this kid wanted one and is like already bored with him. Like seriously, just was like, yeah, that's really neat, whatever. I'm gonna do my thing. And Gizmo's like, man, we are so screwed. Why are these people? And remember, after the whole like racist scene in the, in the in Chinatown, dad was just like being very white manish, very very colonizer type mentality. White people just being like, oh, I just need to take this thing and do what I want with it. That poor kid's most like, oh my god, I just want to go back home. And we just started. <laughs> so here's the room with all of his inventions. Dad, like always, who's not he's never home. When he, he is, he's hanging out in this room probably. His little man cave. As if he needs one. The mom needs the, the woman cave, okay? To get away from this man's uh, nonsense. So Billy comes in to try to tell him, like, um, we got a crisis. The dad immediately goes into a sales pitch. Like, you know, let me tell you something. You know, uh, can I do a pitch? Are you familiar with the bathroom buddy? Which is the thing he tried to sell to the dude he took the mogwai from. He literally goes into a whole pitch. His son is in distress, wants to tell him about a problem, and immediately puts himself aside to center King Baby. He's like, let's say you forgot to shave. What are you gonna do? So Billy plays along with it, just like the mom. He's like, oh wow, that's so cool, Dad. That's pretty neat. <laughs> And then ends up, ends up having to apologize to his dad for embarrassing him for being such a loser. And, and then the dad's like, no, it's okay. He's like, ba dad, the reason why I came here um, is uh, I spilled water on him already. And there's like five. Dad's like, what? I 
don't believe it. Even though Billy can't handle one of these, much less five. He's like, I know. I could sell them to every kid in America and replace the dog. Yeah. 